In March, we take a moment to recognize women who join the ranks of the few, the proud, and for women, the fewer. Less than 0.07% of the U.S. population joins the Marine Corps. Less than 10% of those people are women. Most Marines are familiar with Ofa Mae Johnson, the first woman to enlist in the Marine Corps Reserves nearly a century ago. Women had limited roles during that time. The motto was free a man to fight. Women enlisted in the military to take men's office and factory jobs while men went to the battlefield. Women have come a long ways from the beginning to not being able to pretty much do anything, you know, being at home, staying with the kids, you know, being the wife, cooking, everything like that. I mean, you have CEOs, you have sergeant majors, you have generals that are also women. I mean, we've came a long ways. I think it's good to recognize those points in history that we have accomplished. Most Marine jobs, like the Marine Corps Embassy Security Group, were male dominant. Well, at first, these, these female Marines, they only served in certain countries. Now today, female Marines serve in every one of those posts. And every single post, as we've seen with the bombings in Dar es Salaam and Kenya, all posts are uh, they're fair game to terrorists. And it's not going to matter if we have a female Marine there or not. We've had female Marines standing on the front lines in third world countries you know, over the last 15, 20 years now. We, we are meeting and surpassing the standards that they've set before us. And every time they decided, hey, we're going to change this because, you know, mile and a half is not far enough. So we're going to make it three miles. And we've met that. When they decide that, you know what, we're going to change it to pull-ups and we're going to enact it, it's going to be hard, but we will meet that standard too because we don't have a choice. In 2013, the first female Marines graduated the School of Infantry. Our strength as a Marine Corps is based on our unity and our common goals and ideals. It's uh, our desire inside. It's what makes us uh, want to serve our nation. It's what makes us uh, work hard to be who we are as Marines, and that is not a gender-specific thing. So in our Corps, today's modern Corps, whether you're a man or a woman, uh, really is irrelevant. It's, it's what you can do for our nation, it's what you can do for the team, and it's what you can do to make the Marine Corps strong enough to protect our nation.